You know, Deacon, I will say this. It is there's no doubt in my mind that one of the most, if not the most accomplished superstar in Ultra Championship Wrestling is Martin Casaus. Of course, Casaus has, yep, has gone on, went on to Tough Enough, and then you know ended up now in Lucha Underground as Marty the Moth. But one of the best things uh, that I recall in, in Casaus' career was he made lifelong friendships with guys like AJ Kirsch, Matt Cross, mm -hmm. and then, you know, of course, who can forget Eric Watts? And yeah. Absolutely. Long time friends. Tough enough. 2011, Eric Watts. And you know what? He made his return to UCW Zero this year, and he faced off against Martin Casals. Yeah, the last time Eric Watts stepped in a UCW Zero ring was actually the UCW Zero 10th anniversary in a losing effort to AJ Kirsch. But how would things go when he would face Martin Casals? Let's take a look at it, JD. Don't ever call me that. Josh Damien. Don't do that. I mean, these two have faced each other in multiple promotions. Uh, Adrenaline Unleashed during its time when it was around, multiple, multiple times. Uh, they were really good friends on Tough Enough, the best buddies. Absolutely. And you gotta, you gotta wonder, I don't understand what has happened lately. I don't understand this change of tone in Martin's behavior. It was almost like a light switch went on. And you gotta think that the MK band has been in Martin Casals' ear for a very, very long time now. But I, like you, Josh Damien, am extremely disappointed in Martin Casals. Surprised, to say the least, as Martin Casals with a playful tap on the back of the head well, of Eric Watts. Well, and where did MK hit him earlier? Right the, across, right across the back of the head. But the big nasty may have something to say about that as Martin Casals once again takes the easy way out. Referee Phillip now trying to break them up. Well, you see that respect? It went out the window. And there's that Marty the Moth. Now, referee Phillip better watch out. I mean, he's between two guys that are twice his size. That's true. You know, definitely. Oh, wait, wait, Watts, you can't do things like that. Oh, my gosh. Well. Watts is just going to throw Casals around the ring until one of them gets tired. And now wait a minute, Watts on the second rope. Three, four, five, six. I love it. Whoa, oh. wait a minute. Let's go to commercial wait break. We can't minute. show that. I don't think we have a choice. I think we just did. And I'll tell you what, man. One of the things I remember with Watts was in Tough Enough. They said that that dude came in in not good enough shape, that he wasn't in a good enough condition. But Watts looks like he's in great shape, like he's been working out, he's been doing his cardio. He looks like he, he could probably bench press a stallion. Absolutely. He's a towering giant in the ring is Eric Watts, and he comes in here more jacked and stacked than I've seen him in a very long time. You know, it, even if you shaved the afro, still probably the tallest guy on the roster. Absolutely he is. Casals now hits the corner. Watts oh, picks him man. up. That's a height you don't want to fall from, my friend. Uh-oh. Choke slam already. Watts this looking to end this thing. No one home there, and Casals cowers his way out of the ring. Martin Casals now, wait a minute, what's the MK Bandit doing here? Well, Bandit's looking out for, for his contract, for his client. MK Bandit, no small Bandit's man. Bandit's playing Shaggy. Oh, my God, they almost hit our broadcast table. Martin Casals comes flying over that top rope and takes Eric Watts out because he was distracted by the MK Bandit. I mean, look at the height that that, oh my gosh, and a stomp to the side Come of the on, head. Come on, Martin Casals. Unbelievable. I mean, this guy, these were really good friends at one point. This was supposed to be a friendly competition. I, I, don't, I don't understand this turn of events here. I don't even know why the MK Bandit came out with Casals. Eric Watts now in the crowd. Casals walking to the crowd. Oh my God. What did he just hit him with? I'm not sure. He hit him with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, my God. And now Casals has Watts sitting on the lap of some fan. Well, I mean, we weren't joking when we said that we brought the action to you. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, my goodness. Watts goes for a big punch, but Casals counters with a chop. Tell you what, man, it's really hard to chop down a tree, 
but with uh, hands the size of Casals's, he might be able to do it. And you've got to wonder if referee Phillip is not going to start that 10 count. Both of these competitors outside the ring right now. Look at this now. Watts trying to decide where to take Casals, and he just put him head first. And folks, that may just do it. Martin Casals's head came crashing into that steel post. He hit that concrete floor. This crowd has never been louder, Josh. Well, and, well that was inappropriate. Oh. They call him Big Nasty for a reason. Casals with that sinister smile as he throws Watts' shoulder into that steel turn, but steel post. Excuse me. Now delivers a right hand. Referee Phillip again has got to get restore some kind of order. We need to get these guys back in the ring. Casals takes an atomic drop, and now reverse the time. No, he doesn't. Well, ding dong. You know, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes art has no words. I wouldn't necessarily call that art, but it definitely needed no words. Absolutely. Crowd is, is, out, is out of control right now. What are they chanting, Josh? Nasty? They are. They're chanting nasty. The big nasty now makes his way back into the ring. But there's Cus. Oh, come on, Martin. I thought I knew you. I used to call Martin Casals friend, and Josh, I think you did too. I would still call him friend. I don't understand what he's going through, but I would still call him a friend. Casals now stomps away at the head of of Eric Watts, a second stomp on Eric Watts. And now it looks like Casals is really gonna exact some punishment now on Watts. Well, and I'll tell you what, I mean, I don't think anybody wants any part of Big Nasty, at least not what we've seen, except maybe Martin the Moth. Oh my God, he maybe licks his hand. He just, the moth just licked his hand and now he's wiping it on the face of Eric Watts. That's just disgusting. Crowd continuing to chant, big nasty, big nasty. Oh, uh, this crowd is definitely, definitely behind, uh, not behind Casals, but behind Watts. Watts with some thrust punches to the chest and abdomen of Casals. Oh my goodness, the big nasty is showing why he is nasty. Watts hits the ropes, but there's that Casals drop kick that we're so used to seeing. Pinfall here, one, two. Two no. count on Watts. Correct, only a two count. MK Banda beside himself, he thought it was three. Clearly it was two. Casals now grabs the Grabs the hair of Eric Watts, goes for a snap merit. Watts hits hard. And now let's see what Casals is gonna do. Hits those ropes, big stomp to the side of the head of Eric Watts. And the big nasty once again finds himself in a nasty predicament as the moth continues, continues to pound on the big nasty Eric Watts. And you know what, I mean, Casals exactly has Eric Watts exactly where he wants him. I just don't understand what Casals is going through. Well, Channing again, big, nasty, big, nasty. Watts trying to find that bottom rope to break the hold, but Martin's got that sleeper hold on him right now, and the big, nasty may be going out. Referee Phillip, oh, look at that. Referee Phillip now very close, making sure that Martin does not have a choke hold on him, which, of course, is illegal in professional wrestling. Picks up the big nasty's arm for a one. Now, if it goes to three, folks, this thing is over. Casals locking There's on two. more pressure. This could be it. It's not it, says referee Phillip, but more importantly, says Eric Watts. Watts makes his way up to his right knee. Now to both feet. Casals holding on for dear life as Watts delivers elbow after elbow, shooting Casals off. 
Double chop by the nasty one. Another chop by the nasty one. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that was a knee right to the face. This could be it. Could the moth go down right here in his home state? Could he be defeated by the people he betrayed here tonight? The UCW Zero Nation. Oh, no, 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 missed the kick. Oh, boy, going for that TKO. Oh! That could be it. Watts hits the boots. And a kick out by Casals on two. And what does Eric Watts have to do to stomp this moth out? Watts now to his feet first. Grabs the cranium of Martin Casals as Casals works his way up. Casals picks him up again. Oh my goodness, that could be it. it hits a TKO, here we go, two. And Watts kicked out. Casals looks incredulous right now. The MK banded in the face of referee Phillip, he can't believe it either. Casal says that was free, but uh, it wasn't. Well, and I'll tell you what, I mean, what do these guys got to do? There's just, it's one thing after another isn't enough. They know each other that well. They've been friends for going on five years now. Casals once again has the big nasty up. Nasty slips off his back, picks Casals up. Look at this now. Back and forth, these competitors go. Big elbows by the big nasty. Oh boy. And at this point, it's just a battle of strength and instinct. Watts has got Casals in a very bad place. Watts at 260, Casals at 250. Two evenly matched athletes here tonight, both I, in skill, strength, and ability. And I tell you what, I'm a little bit of a height advantage, but anyone who's ever been in a fight knows that that can only get you so far. Casals now from across the ring coming at Watts. Now Watts oh, has him up. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, oh my oh. God. Did you see that? Mom Two. Squash. Two. Oh, I thought it was over. I really thought it was over then, and so did the UCW Zero Nation. But somehow, in some way, Martin Casals kicks out of that one. The big nasty now going over. Oh, big, big forearm and a shot by Casals right back. Forearm, right hand. No, the, another forearm by Casals. They are going back and forth. What a battle we have here in Salt Lake City. Scars and Stripes 2016. Oh, man. You know, definitely just a great main event so far. What is Bandit doing up there on the top? I don't know. What? What? Uh-oh. And now Watts is taking off the brass knucks of the Wait MK a Bandit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Watts, he's not your target. No! There goes the Bandit. The Bandit's gone. Watts has Casals up. Oh, oh, man. That's how you squash a moth. A two count. I cannot believe it. At this point, I would say it's heart, but it's got to be stubbornness at this point. Folks, I am, I'm, I'm out of words to describe this match right now. Now, Watts, wait a minute. Maybe I've got some. Watts going to the top rope. Oh, it's, it, I mean, this is unusual territory for a guy like Watts, and that's why. And Casals just pushed referee Phillip and took Watts down. And I'm just curious to see what referee Phillip's going to do about that. Oh, man, and just a slap to the face right there. No respect. And now Casals trying to do a superplex from the, from the middle rope. Let's see if he can get the big man Watts up. I don't know if he can. I mean, Watts is 260, but he finally knocks Casals off. Now Watts on that second rope. Oh, oh man. my goodness. Uppercut right there. 
And Watts isn't out, but he's definitely not there. Casals once again looks like he might be uh -oh. going for a super Wait, wait, cut. wait, 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 wait. Oh, man. Martin's going for a ride. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pinfall. You got to be kidding me. Him. 